Hi, our nation. Welcome to the pregame presented by Robillard Hearing Centers, the Clock Tower Brew Pub, and Lumberjacks Axe Throwing, where you can throw the night away. I'm your host, Ken Avrere. Well, the Ottawa Red Blacks put the final touches on their game plan in advance of their Friday night date out west with the 1-9 BC Lions. There's no underestimating the Lions, especially after this past weekend when the 1-9 Toronto Argonauts absolutely shellacked the Red Blacks' final score, 46-17. Now, hope still springs eternal. When you look at the calendar, there are plenty of winnable games, including the Ticats, the Argos, the Alouettes, and the Eskimos, plus another day next week here against the BC Lions. So if they want to get to the postseason, the Red Blacks certainly have a chance, but they have to start winning games this Friday night. But we have a lot to share with you in the pregame show, including a getting to know you segment. We're going to talk to quarterback Jonathan Jennings about facing his former team, the Lions. But of course, everything always begins with the first word from head coach Rick Campbell. Um, we got to keep going and keep working and uh, get on to Vancouver. We dissected that game and watched it and all that, but we've had to put that to bed and move on and uh, get ready for an important game out in Vancouver. The Lions have had a lot of trouble protecting their quarterback. It looks like they've been a little better um, the past game or two. What do you have to do to kind of throw Mike Riley off what it, whatever it is he's trying to do? Yeah, as we know, he's a really good good player in this league, and so you gotta you gotta combine getting pressure on him so he can't just stand there in, in the pocket and throw and change up some coverage looks on him. So you you try to uh, be a moving target because if you can figure the whole thing out, it's tough. So uh, we gotta do a good job of that. We gotta get uh, get pressure on him. Your thoughts on, on when you watch film, you always want to draw the positives. Do you see something on that offense? Like the slant and go was close. The Moses Madu uh, incompletion was close. You get a sense when you woke up the next day that that offense is a little closer than it was maybe a week ago? Yeah, we the turnovers were the thing that hurt us. Yeah. Um, but we definitely were playing a, a winning effort in the first half on offense. And we missed a couple red zone opportunities, but there is reason that there's progress. And the uh, key is we just got to keep uh, keep going and, and, and figure out a way to be uh, uh, productive for 60 minutes. Similar scenario, though, with BC with the one victory. And you know they want to win. They want to win at home. It, it's not going to be a fun game for you guys. And it's eerily similar to maybe this Toronto matchup you just played. Well, yeah, they're, Toronto and BC are good teams. I know what their record is. I get that. But they play everybody close and play people tough. and. Um, so I don't view them differently as far as um, their ability and the players they have on their team and the coaches they have. So we're going to have to play really well to beat them. What are you going to do with safety this week? And look, Chaffee was getting some looks back there today. Have you decided what? Yeah, Chaffee could get some looks. Um, Randall Evans could get some looks. We'll, um, and obviously Howell can play that position too. He's done it a lot. So um, um, we're thinking we'll have the luxury to play either a Canadian or an American in that position, or we might uh, mix it up and try to throw some different looks their way. So we'll losing, see how it goes. Losing a Canadian starter, does that kind of throw a wrench into, into your plans? Um, it, it normally would. Um, we actually have been playing Canadian heavy a lot. And even last game, we ended up um, a lot of the times in the game, we were playing more than the, the seven total that we needed. So it's uh, this week, it's not as, uh, not as big a deal. Um, we've got a lot of new guys in. Uh, one of them got base. Um, just your assessment of what he's done in the first three games with you guys. Yeah, guy with a lot of promise. He uh, um, gets in there, he's not afraid. Um, I always remember too, he's, he's pretty new, so he he's, has a lot of upside and um, has made some big plays. That, uh, that interception and the return he did gives you an insight of his athletic ability. And uh, again, that's a guy we're very hopeful for, for now and the future. Is that the uh, at least the, the bright spot, and with all those injuries, it gives you a chance to take a look at all those different yeah. guys. And yeah, it does. It does force your force tests test your depth and test your new guys that you're playing with. And we we've been playing with some new guys, and um, you're right. It does it does help in the end, especially if they turn out to be good players and they get more experience. Then uh, um, hopefully that helps. Uh, now, now is the most important thing in down the road. Derek Jackson's another guy. Yeah, you're getting a look at. Played a little last week. What did you think of his effort? I think he's got great upside. Another guy that I think can be a difference maker. Again, this all has to be shown over weeks and being able to do and show improvement. But uh, the guy's explosive. Um, he's got uh, got a natural feel for the game, and as long as he works hard and and keeps uh, keeps buying in and keeps growing, and the guy can do definitely do some good stuff. And George Uko, he obviously introduced himself with authority early in the game and, and played well. Yeah, he's done some good stuff for us over the last couple of years, and he's a big body in there. It was nice to have him in there and uh, was able to make a couple of big plays. So that's good for him. 
Nembot. Uh, is he likely out again this week? Um, probably he might fall into your ratio thing, but he's a he's a guy that uh, we like, um, we think can play, but again, we're gonna have to make some decisions. That's gonna get tied into the Pruno thing on uh, on the ratio and how many how many Americans we can start. Crockett's not ready to go. No, this week. Crockett's not gonna be ready to go. Is he out for a, for a bit now? We'll see. Again, I gotta. Be careful of what I say in my uh, declarations, <laughs> but uh, I know that he has to get looked at further and, and see how it goes. I know he's disappointed and we're disappointed, but hopefully he's back soon.